if you're new here I'm actually uh, I just got ready so I could go to my appointment with the surgeon I've been telling you guys about and we're gonna figure out if the surgery is the thing for me or um, if I should just go with the spinal injections and guys the journey I wish I took you guys with me at from the beginning but basically, I've been seeing a holistic doctor and I've been trying natural ways and it just, it's just too slow and like I, it will help for like a little bit but then it will stop helping and then I'm in this horrible pain again. So I just want to get this over with and I want to get better and I know it's going to take some time but I just want to go towards that direction. So we're going to be talking to the surgeon today. I think his name is Dr. Patters. And we're gonna see what he says. Hopefully he lets me record, not him, because I don't know how doctors are, you know, I don't know. Him talking to me, right? So, I'll see how that goes. I'm gonna wash my face, it's 12.51, my appointment's at 1.30, so I have to leave here by like 1.10. I wanna go wash my face and uh, put my shoes on and get ready. It feels so much better, you guys. My session yesterday with my therapist for the HC. E, heart center therapy went so well I felt so light so peaceful like very like I don't know we just had the most amazing session and I wish I recorded you guys but she actually didn't have to see me on FaceTime she just did it on the phone I put my headphones in and just closed my eyes and listened to her and it was very cool I feel better obviously not fully but I think I know where I should be directed directing myself I'm gonna wash my face you guys want to see me wash my face I know it's kind of weird to ask but <laughs> let's just go I usually use Dermatological or something like that, but I got this other soap um, that my friend recommended because my eczema kind of got like flared up and it's like goat, it's like, it's like unscented goat soap or something like that, I can't remember. But it has been helping me so much, even like my eczema back here, it's been like calming down. So I think I found my new thing that's so simple it only costs like literally two dollars and I'm like what I've been spending so much money on different things and this is what I needed but I don't know my skin always like changes up like it'll work for like a couple months and then be like I'm over this I need something else I'm over it okay but guys I'm here I have to ask him when he gets here I tried asking his nurse but she was she was like that's something you have to ask him so I'm gonna see what he says hey guys sorry um so i thought i could like record but he like got in there and just straight to work and i i you know 
the camera I was like about like I don't know I just I didn't really think about it like I had the camera down and I was on my phone then he like knocked and came in and then it just all went so fast and guys when I went in there and checked myself in they tried charging me $120 and I was like what I've never like what she's like this is your copay I was like what what $120 for what I'm just speaking to him I, I just I'm just getting a second opinion like what 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 and like she like this other girl came and she she was like okay it's twenty five dollars for today but if you get billed like you get billed that's not of our art of out of our control and I was like okay I almost walked out of there because I was like what in the world like the sunlight came out and then left so he went in there basically and said that he doesn't think I need surgery he says that this is very fixable um, unless the spinal injections don't work and I'm very frustrated which I told him I've been very frustrated for the last year and a half and I just want this pain to go away I don't want to feel this numbness I want to have a normal life I'm only 23 years old I want to be the best version of me and I want to like get this out of here like I I want to do things and I can't do things without having to take breaks every 10 minutes every 20 minutes like it's very frustrating so I told him he was like okay we'll try the spinal injections and if they don't work then we will come back here and we will you know make a plan up but definitely do spinal injections first and I was like okay so I scheduled my spinal injections for the following week next week and let's see how that goes um hopefully it goes well and I'm gonna have someone drive me because apparently I can't drive after for a little bit so I'll be like on the toilet I promise <laughs> um, you guys it is Saturday morning the next day and um, I'm going to the gym um, I'm going to the gym Darian's staying here he has to work on his intro for his podcast gosh what am I getting all this sound for and I'm gonna hit the gym for a little bit just like the steam room and then like a couple exercises my leg is like really hurting this morning but i'm gonna push myself just a little bit because i feel like i can still do a little bit of something and plus one of my goals for this year is to push myself a little bit even out of my little comfort zone but if i if there's ever like a time where i'm like no my body is like no say no then i will definitely listen to that and do whatever it is after I don't know if I'm gonna take you guys with me I don't know if you guys want to see more of like my, my workouts I mean it's basically the same thing sometimes I do a little bit of yoga but if you do let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely take my camera more today I'm gonna put a lot a load in before I leave and then after the gym I'll go to Target because I told you guys I wanted to do something with Iverson so I'm gonna see if I can find a couple things so I will see you guys when I'm at Target. I love you guys. Have a great morning, I hope. Get that skincare. Mm, drink some water. Get your tea, get your coffee, whatever. Get your matcha, whatever it is. Get it. Drink it. Do it. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, morning, whenever you're watching this. If you're watching this in your sleep or you're, you're going to sleep, then have a great night. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, love you. Bye. pretty cool it only colors on the special paper which is something that I <laughs> I'm all for okay well I got that you know, I'm gonna still decide and then I was thinking of these little animals I don't see anything like smaller it says for eight years and older but like I used to paint these when I was little <laughs> I'm confused I like want to do so many things with him like there's finger painting 
Like he would love finger painting, but I know it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> Hey guys, it is much later and we're about to make the banana bread. I've already started putting stuff in there and Iverson has been helping me. Um, sorry. But then I was like, wait, I gotta get the camera to show you guys. So, Ivy, you're gonna help, right? Okay. I know that we have, to, we have two more to make. Two more to make for this. To pour in here, okay? You gonna help me? Okay, here you go. Another one. Good job. Another one. Good job, honey. Okay. Now we need three eggs. Three eggs. Okay. Think. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! I'll do the egg part, okay? Hey, wait, wait, Iverson, wait, Iverson, wait. Let me see. Like this, look. No more, no more, no more. That's just it. Okay? Now we're gonna mix, 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 mix. You wanna mix it? Go ahead, mix it. Maybe you got it. You need some help? Okay. Are you ready like this? How many cups is that? That's exactly two cups. Are we gonna have enough? Oh, you wanna pour it in there? Go ahead and pour it in there, baby. Whoa. Good job. Now we have we need a little bit more, okay? Oh, good job getting all the crumbs in there, huh? Okay, Everson. So now we can put the rest. Put the rest in there. We're just gonna have to add all-purpose flour because we don't have enough flour. Oh, Look at my arm, you guys. You see this? The things you do for your children. Oh. All right. Guys, I'm not the type of person that likes to make a mess, and this is actually pretty fun for me right now. Oh my God. You wanna add it? Add it in there. No. Add it in there, baby. No. Add it. Okay, that's it. No more. Wait, wait, wait. Can you add this in there, Iverson? Add it in there. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of 
baking soda. Right, add it in the ribby. Add it. Good job. And now, oh, okay. one half cup of dark chocolate chips. I'm just gonna guess on the salt a little bit, okay? Because we need to crush it. And one teaspoon of oops, vanilla extract. I feel like a kid right now. I don't know. I can't remember if the dough is supposed to be like this. But I'm not gonna make it because I love my my banana bread loaf thing at my mom's. So I'm gonna make it into like muffins almost. That's pretty good, baby. All right, guys. So I couldn't find like the little cups for the muffins. So we're just gonna. Poured in here. Well enough. to bake to preheat sorry and then we'll put this in there and call it a day I can't wait are you excited are you happy you made this with mommy I'm so proud of you baby love you yeah. oh there's a chocolate chip on the bottom on the ground all right guys I'll see you guys when it's ready Bye. Thank you.